Why is it like that? Why is it just a rotating billboard? Stop that. Why is it just a rotating billboard? What have I done? I f***ed up my game. It's just a rotating billboard now. I f***ed up my game. It's just a rotating billboard. I don't know how to un it. Okay, I un I was I was genuinely, genuinely afraid that I'd have to restart the game. Like, I'd have to fully restart it because the game was just going to put it in a perpetual rotating billboard and that was going to be the entire experience. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the rotating billboard stream. Uh, hope you enjoy all the rotating billboards. We got a lot of rotating billboards here, and they're all your favorites. We've got the Marlboro Man. We've got the Camel Camel from the Camel Cigarettes. We've got the Marlboro Baby, the famous smoking baby. Would it be awesome if there were more cigarette mascots that were babies, but they smoked cigarettes? That'd be cool, I think. I think I think babies should smoke cigarettes. I'm pro-baby smoking. You know what? I realized what that means. Now I'm anti-baby smoking again. I've pulled it back. Uh, sorry, I'm going to release an apology video titled Why I'm Not Actually For Baby Smoking Cigarettes. But then I'm going to release a secret video for Patreons only that says, Actually, I'm for baby smoking cigarettes, but I don't want the world to know. You'll never know where I stand. That's the way I like it. I don't want you to fucking ever know. I don't want you to ever know where I stand on babies should smoke or babies shouldn't smoke. And I feel like it's better that way. I want you to know while simultaneously not know. Yes, Mikey, a loaf of bread is a bread sandwich. Is a butter sandwich a sandwich? Yeah. You get like a big, I was going to say a loaf of butter. Yeah, you take a loaf of butter, put it between two pieces of bread, and then you smack on that. Did you forget what beds were called? Shut up. Sleeping pod. Sorry, I sleep in a pod. I sleep in a big bed with my wife. I think a butter sandwich is a sandwich as, as, as long as you have enough in between. Is two pieces of bread an air sandwich? What if you leave space for the air in the sandwich? Bread sandwich would only be consumed with hot dog or pepper. Isn't that like a thing in, in, in Britain? Like a toast sandwich? Like it's two pieces of normal bread and then a piece of toast in the middle? Probably the most sad sandwich creation ever invented. British people rise up. Please rise up. Start tasting food again. Motherfuckers be like, man, Midwestern food has no taste. And then be like, British people, beans on toast. Scorpion! Where is it? 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 Please don't hurt me. I'm a swell guy. There we go. Got him. I'm getting stronger. The bastard grows ever stronger. Finally, I can kill a scorpion with no muss, no fuss. Wouldn't it be fucked up if you shot a dog and it had mustard in the on the inside? Wouldn't that, would that be fucked up, right? What if a dog was full of mustard? Fallout mod that changes all of the blood to yellow, so it's mustard. Tell me lies, tell me sweet little lies. Tell me, tell me lies. Oh no, no, you can't disguise. Fallout 4 is going to have a full radiant quest system. Fallout 4 is going to have infinite quests. There are going to be infinite things to do. If fucking bird be flying. It's a... <laughs> that bird is a synth. Kill it. Kill it. There were two of them. There were three birds that spawned there. It was stuck. What the fuck, Todd? It's a spy drone. Kill it. Odin is watching me. Odin sends his ravens after me and they get stuck on tree. Get fucked, Norse, mytho Norse, Norse mythology. I almost said Norse misogyny. Get fucked, Norse mythology. Norse misogyny. I don't give a shit. Get fucked. Odin be like, I have to throw you in the big pit, my son. The world craves you. I have to feed the womb of the earth, my son. Go into the funny pit. Odin from hit video game God of War Ragnarok? No, Odin from the hit Marvel movie Thor. God of Chunder. I'll get on that mustard mod right away. This isn't a joke. I make Fallout 4 mods. I'll let you know when it's done. I <laughs> uh, condiment blood mod. Really what I need. Randomize, randomize what kind of blood every character will have. Do you have ketchup, mustard, relish, horseradish? Get that mutant blood mod. Fill every character with condiments. See what happens. Drink your own piss mod. Thank you, chat. I love this chat. What a good chat. I love this chat. What a good chat. <laughs> Need me a Fallout mod that just makes enemies' heads slightly more bulbous every time I encounter them. <laughs> Fuck off. I, I swore to myself when I woke up this morning. I literally repeated a mantra. I said, I'm not going to laugh at Baba Booey if Baba Booey appears in chat. I said to myself, Brendan, today is the day. Today is the day you conquer Baba Booey. At some point, I'm going to become immune to it. It's going to lose its efficacy, and you're going to be the one who's going to be laughing when I make a joke that is stronger than Baba Booey. Stop it. Stop making me laugh at Baba Booey, please. I'm fucking begging you. 
Could somebody take a look at my Baba Booey budget and see what I'm doing wrong? Sir, you're spending $1 million on Baba Booey per month. Can you please look at my budget? I have to feed my family. Maybe if you, maybe if you stop spending so much money on Baba Booey, 29 melons. What am I going to do with 29 melons? Hey, chat. I. <laughs> All right. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the melon eating stream. Hope you enjoy, because I know I will. <laughs> Melon mod. The more watermelons you eat, the more your character slowly turns into an orb. I am now huge. I am round with melon. I love me my round melon. We gotta make like a new town, don't we? Should I start working on um a sanctuary finally? Should I do... Should I like say fuck yes, I will do what you tell me to Preston Garvey finally? It's like, we've just been fucking around in our, like, little gas station town for a bit. I'm gonna fuck up Sanctuary. I'm gonna make it my own little town. I gotta. I gotta. It's income, dude. I'm sorry. It's income. I'm thinking about- I'm thinking about the- the-, the taxing the peasants. Well, think about this. Wouldn't it be funny if Preston Garvey had to pay taxes? Funniest shit I ever had to see. I'm gonna go over there, and I'm gonna make Preston Garvey pay taxes, and everybody's gonna laugh. But I'm not gonna put as much, like, love into Sanctuary. I'm gonna make it simple. See, I'll do Sanctuary, but I'm not gonna put as much love into it. Make Sanctuary a prison. This is where we this is where we keep Preston Gravy. We keep him locked away here. This is just where he be. So sorry, Preston Gravy. So fucking sorry. Make a big tower and then push him off. Jeesh. Well, I just tried to introduce a new system to people and I got a why not just run D&D for games that aren't high fantasy as a response. An evil part of me honestly thinks 5e players deserve shitty companies like Wizards of the Coast fucking them in the mouth. Just give something that isn't D&D or D&D derivative a try just once, please. It's not going to kill you. The thing about other systems comparatively to 5e, and I'm going to start talking about psycho shit, so if you don't want to hear psycho shit, then don't, like, listen. Turn your ears off. The thing about 5e and Wizards of as a Coast as a Company is 5e offers a simple solution. That is why people like it. That's it. That's it. 5e is simple. That's why people like it. It is harder to get people into alternative systems because they are not as simple as, as, as 5e. That's it. And also the fact that, like, people are so stuck in the this is the right way to do it, like, mode, that they don't want to leave it. Plus, there's this huge, really odd, like, uh, this really, really odd environment where people are completely stuck in, like, this I consume D&D &D content that is all 5e content. Like, I watch all the Critical Role content, so that is the only way that I want to experience D&D &D is just, like, the Critical Role guys. Um... Which, like, fair. If you want to do that, go for it. But, like, yeah, some people are really stubborn when it comes to, um, like, new role-playing systems. It's just the way it is. It's just the way it is. If it doesn't work like 5e, then, like, they're not going to be happy. If you try to introduce D&D 3.5 or 3.5 derivative systems to a 5e player that doesn't want to change, if they don't want to change, they're not going to change. I'm kind of partially just doing this for the free experience that comes with it. Uh, we should also do co 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 uh, Cogworth. Hi! Oh shit, I almost did the exact same thing again. I almost spilled more Mountain Dew in my mixer. Why did I move it there? Why did I get a Codsworth flag? If I... If I ask... If I ask, hey guys, what pride flag is this? Is that a bad joke? Am I allowed to ask, hey guys, what pride flag is this? Can I post this in like the Discord? <laughs> Am I allowed? If not, no worries. No, the incel pride flag is uh, the Brotherhood of Steel. Fucking bazinga. I love Blamco Mac and Cheese. I love Cram. I love Purified Water. God damn, do I love myself a big fucking wet sloppy sack of meat. That's the shit for me, babe. I'm a big sack of meat fan right here. Mm, number one sack of meat fan. Oh, I'm not good enough at lockpicking. That's right. Fuck. Give me cans and bottles and bottles and cans. I gotta get the fucking perk that allows me to make a supply line. Fuck. One of the houses on my commute is a Brotherhood flag on an actual flagpole. I just will never understand Fallout fans and loving the Brotherhood of Steel and, and the Enclave to, like, a ridiculous degree. I will never understand it. I like factions in Fallout. I will never understand the love of the Brotherhood of Steel and the Enclave. Like, and I mean, at least, like, in Fallout 1 and 2 in New Vegas, I kind of get it. But I do not get, like, the Fallout 3, Fallout 4, like, Brotherhood of Steel love. Oh, fuck, bug. I'm gonna build a- uh, yeah, what if I build a room that's just filled to the brim with sad clown paintings? And Sturgis lives in there. That's where we'll always keep you, Sturgis. Sturgis loves his clown paintings. He'll, he never gets sick of them. Oh, that, that's for Jun Long, I forgot. Jun Long needs his cloud, clown paintings. He's always sad. Jun Long loves his clown paintings. He's a huge fan of them. 
slap your balls. Oh, scrap your balls. Why'd you say something like that? I'm so fucking sad now. Scrap my balls? It doesn't, doesn't even make any fucking sense. Why don't you grow up? Jeez. Oh, I never even got the... Isn't there a Your Special book in here? Fuck, I never even grabbed that because I never went to Sanctuary. I'm fucking stupid. Charisma. God, Brendan, you fucking empty-headed maroon. You moron. You silly bitch. Somebody come to my house and kill me right now for my fucking mistakes. Make, make me pay a penance. Come to my home right now, knock on the door, look directly at me and say, Brendan, you're paying your penance today. Oh, shit. Gorgnak. I forgot about that one, too. Thank you, chat. I love Gorgnak. He's one of my favorite top 10 silly guys. I love it when he posts videos like, does anyone else... When, when you... Does anyone... Wait. I love his posts. God, I love running around scrapping chair and globe and chair and chair and chair and chair and rug and chair and globe and chair and chair and chair and chair and painting. Gordon Knapp Freeman was one day an office typing on computer when suddenly he got an email from his brother that said that aliens and monsters was attacking the place. Honestly, I'm just like going through the fucking we need to scrap all of Sanctuary right now. Delete it. Delete it. Get rid of it all. You think anybody ever said a, a fence post in the bush is worth two in the hand? I don't think anybody ever said that. I think I'm the first guy to say that. That's an entirely wholly unique uh, sentence that nobody else has ever said. Get fucked. I got the special book. Don't worry. I got the Grognet comic. I got the special book. The bastard is a little bit stronger. A little bit stronger, a little bit smarter. I don't know. Anytime I fucking see Sanctuary in Fallout 4, I think of the fucking Kingdom Hearts song. You and I, a brand new day. You're missing out with the Scrap Everything mod. It's satisfying to level an entire house and build on a platform. Yeah, I thought about it, but like, I don't know. Something about like not being able to get rid of some of this junk is really funny to me. I was looking at the Scrap Everything mod. I just also thought it's really funny to have to work around these shitty bushes that they didn't want to get rid of. Like, you scrap the tree, but not the roots. And that's really funny to me. Mod that lets you scrap people. That's just called a gun. I'm sorry. What if I have sim, sim settlements, but I leave Sanctuary as like a normal Fallout 4 settlement? They have to like pay for their sins. It's like atonement for them. The Scrap Everything mod causes a lot of performance issues because it breaks pre-combined geometry. See? Somebody in here with knowledge and f a huge and fat and fetid brain know what they talking about. Me, I'm stupid. Small brain. I kill bug and explode. Why is it bleeding? Why am I bleeding? Oh, that's right. I forgot that the blood... You know what? I keep forgetting that the bugs in this game get you pregnant. My life be like a video game. Your life be like a YouTube poop. Do you have the Flesh Smith mod installed? What? Why does that sound like Fresh Prince? Why does it sound like a like analog horror of fresh fresh prints? Hey, G, can you make me a sandwich? Yes. Hey, uh, Carlton, you ever see a man-made horror as far beyond your comprehension? Is President Bush there? Fleshsmith, actual mod for Fallout 4. What does it do? And why do you know about it? Now, I'm going to install CBBE, CBBE physics and then give the bastard a huge, luxurious pair of jugs. A massive pair of big wampas. Huge boob. Massively large tatas. Huge boob, in fact. BBW Thomas the Tank Engine. I fucking... Anytime I hear the word BBW, I think back to college, and one of my friends in college had this really shitty prank. And it was like... Okay, so this was, you know, when smartphones were becoming big. iPhones had been around for a little bit, but everybody was like, Android phones are so cool. I love my Razer Android phone, right? But a lot of people hadn't really caught on to, like, locking their phone. So this friend I had in college, he would go up, grab people's phones when they weren't looking, unlock them, and then find an image of BBW, like, really hardcore, like, big woman porn, and change their lock screen to that when they weren't looking. Every fucking time. And it was always the same image of this woman, I think, pissing. And I think about that every fucking time. And it's, like, terrifying to me. That somebody would even do that. Somebody, wh like, why? Why would you go through the trouble every time to look for this one picture? Just this naked fat woman pissing, and that's your lock screen. Huge piss on your phone, dude. Not again. Stop, put stop putting piss on my phone. I'm sick of it. Real friends don't just look at porn together. Real friends make porn together. That's some chaotic energy there. That's some scary and chaotic energy there. Part of me is like, man... I appreciate the commitment to the bit. The other part of me is like, please don't do that to me. I keep my phone on me at all times. I'm always afraid that somebody's going to put the BBW piss image on my phone. One of these days, I'm going to pick up my phone and it's going to have the Sandy Cheeks cockvore image directly on my wallpaper. 
I never want to see that. Never fill me with that. There's a reason why this stream is set to, like, a mature stream. Please stop sending me that image. My wife is sick of seeing it. I'm on a real fucking, I'm on a real fucking tilt-a-whirl ride today. Somebody posted that in my Discord and I banned them immediately. That image single-handedly killed three Brent Daniel servers. No joke. That image getting posted single-handedly killed three different Brent Daniel servers. There was a there was a time where I was friends with people from like a fucking I, they were like a one of those weird pre-Reddit websites that posted like cringe videos, and they kept like leading gangs of people into my servers. And this is why the servers are closed. Because I kept getting mo I kept getting mobbed by people who ran a cringe website posting cringe videos on YouTube.com and they kept like raiding my fucking servers and posting that image over and over again. I'll never understand NSFW in a YouTuber server in the first place. Like I don't get it. I don't dude, I don't get it. I get sharing NSFW uh, videos and pictures with your friends. I get that. Why post it in a YouTuber server? What a psycho thing to do. Do people still worship cringe content to a weird extent in current year? Uh, it really depends. I feel like we're in the, uh, we're at the line where, like, we're realizing, a lot, I think a lot of people are realizing, like, who gives a shit? It's okay to be cringe. Like, grow up, everybody's a little cringe. But also, I feel like there are also people who are, like, stuck in 2016 and will never leave. I'd like to think that we're in a post-cringe society, but I know that's not true. There was a, somebody was telling me about a server they joined, like a Discord server they joined that had an NSFW chat. But you had to send the Discord admins pictures of your fucking ID to prove you were of age. And at that point, the amount of work that goes into like getting access to an NSFW chat, really, you just don't need an NSFW chat if you need people sending their fucking IDs into the mod. Yeah, can I get your uh, social security number? I need to know if you're old enough to be able to see the NSFW chat in this uh Wendy's <laughs> this Wendy's fan Discord server. I get it if the server is all NSFW. I can understand that. Like you want to keep like kids away from porn. I get that. But like in a server that is a normal server that would have those people in it, like a normal server that also just has an NSFW chat, like why the fuck? Yeah, why post porn on Discord? You can just go to, do, go to I don't know, Novel AI and type in Big Breasted GF. RuneScape, I'm using Novel AI to look up uh, Rune Armor, huge, huge, huge boob. Hello, AI generator. I feel like I'm in the mood for Minecraft Creeper, realistic girl with huge boob, explode when she come. Ah, uh, yes. This is the vibe today. Ah, uh, yes. Hello, Brendan. Hello, Peter. From the Brent Daniel Twitch chat. <laughs> I don't know why that's one of my favorite responses to Hello, Brendan. Hello, so and so from the Brent Daniel Twitch chat. If there's ever uh, like a Brent Daniel fan meetup, please have name tags and please always introduce yourself as Hello there, user of the Brent Daniel Twitch chat. It is I, other user of the Brent Daniel Twitch chat. Would you like to talk about how unfunny Brendan is? <laughs> I love to engage in Brendan unfunny discourse. It's my favorite. That's what I do in my private Discord server. We theorize what unfunny thing Brendan is going to do on that day, and that he always exceeds our expectations. When are we getting NSFW permissions for the Twitch chat? Fucking never. The only person who should talk about NSFW or the Twitch at all is like me. And even then, I shouldn't even be talking about it. Somebody's gonna fucking join, and they're gonna have, like, really fucking deep pockets, and they're gonna go, Oh, you know, I have a lot of money. Why don't I randomly jump on one of these Twitch shits? Oh, somebody's playing Fallout 4. Love that game. Maybe I'll give them $100,000 out of my pocket. Oh, what is he talking about? Melaning, huh? Oh, no, not today, Brent Daniel. Not today. Sorry, Brendan. Looks like the investor has passed over you. Today was not your lucky day. Maybe next time you'll find a new one. I think that any, uh, I, I love you, I, I love y'all, I do, um, but I think that any kind of, like, extended meetup that were only, like, if there was any kind of meetup that was only people who watched Bren Daniel, um, I would fear for my fucking life. Like, at a con, I think is fine, but if there were, like, 50 people at a Wendy's or a Denny's who exclusively watched my content, I'd be fucking terrified. I think that might be one of the scariest fucking things I've imagined. Then again... You have to realize, though, like, I haven't been to, like, a big convention since QuakeCon. And the guy that I met there that watched my videos was pretty cool, but he was also the only guy I met who watched my videos there. But everybody else that I have, watched, like, met that has watched my content in real life 
Uh, they've scared the shit out of me. I <laughs> genuinely afraid. I expect about 40% of you to have like furniture made of human skin. And I just think that's like normal. That's just going to be like the norm. I expect at least 40% of you have furniture made of human skin in your home. That might be a little generous, honestly. It might be more like 60%. What if all the Daniel Twitch owners just... Twitch viewers just took over a Denny's? What if we just all got together and took over a Denny's? Like, think about it. We can make it our micronation. They'll never fucking stop us. What are they gonna fucking do? Close the Denny's? Just like Kickassia, we could remake Kickassia. You're so fucking right. But instead of having, like, lukewarm internet content personalities, it'll be one lukewarm internet content personality, content creator personality, and, like, 70 people who just want to fucking farm. We can do RimWorld real! That's what's gonna happen when I get Mr. Beast levels of money. RimWorld real! All right, everybody, we're drawing the lottery today. Whose organs are getting harvested? Oh, sorry, Tech Stomper. Looks like you lost. Time to pay the fucking liver tax. Oh, once again, week two. Sorry, Tech Stomper. You really only need one kidney. Oh, week three. Well, Tech Stomper, we're taking one of your eyes. Week four of the organ lottery. Well, Tech Stomper, it looks like we're taking three of your fingers and four of your toes. Hey, Brendan, I looked in the, uh, I looked in the organ harvesting lottery. And I saw that all of the bingo balls in the organ harvesting lottery for the, uh, the, the Brendaniel Twitch Micronation. I saw every single one of the balls says Tech Stomper on it. Um, it, it that's kind of fucked up, right? No! <laughs> Harvest time! What are the grapes of wrath? Dude, you never had mad wine? I <laughs> You ever have angry wine? Dude, you've never had angry and upset wine. You've never drank wine? That has been crushed under the feet of very upset people? Come on, dude. You have to try angry wine. Anyway, speaking of wine, remember I'm still collecting for the Brendaniel Wine Fund. We're going to get that sommelier stream going. Uh, still looking to buy that $100,000 bottle of wine. It's going to be awesome. I'm going to hire a real sommelier, and we're going to make him drink toilet wine. Let's do this. What is that one movie with uh, Will Arnett? It's like a prison movie, and it's about toilet wine, basically. If you really think about it, all French wine is angry wine. This won't get you the mom views. Yes, it will. You just don't even fathom how live, laugh, wine I can be. You're so fucking silly. I'm going to talk about macrame. I'm going to make a fake son, and then I'm going to have my fake son do fucking macaroni art. And then uh, I'm going to get every mom in, like, the tri-state area watching my content. I'm going to be a mom-based streamer. People are going to watch me, and I'm going to give them hot tips on how to make baby formula cheap. The secret to making good baby baby formula is you, you, you got you to use a lot of cigarettes. You see, cigarettes cost money, but cigarette butts are free and full of fiber. Is American wine actual wine, or is it Welch's grape juice mixed with Everclear? Uh, the only wine I've ever liked is, uh, what is it? There's a, it's like a, I can't remember what it's called. Like It's not called Abbott and Costello, Brendan. It's a... Uh, it's this fucking wine that's basically like a really sweet sangria. Arbor Mist. Arbor Mist. Why do I think Abbott and Costello? Arbor Mist is not really wine. It's just alcoholic fruit juice, and it's the only wine I've liked. I'll never fucking get I'll never get wine love. I'll never fucking get it. It's just Arbor Mist. It's just cheap-ass fucking... It's just cheap-ass fucking, like, paint thinner and fruit juice. Motherfuckers be like, ah, oh, what an extended, amazing palate you have. Wow, what an incredible palate you have. Me drinking Arbor Mist. Glug, glug, motherfucker. I'm going to the drunk dimension. Wine love is like coffee love and acquired taste. Nah, coffee can taste good. You just gotta fuck it all up. Coffee can taste really good. You just gotta make it taste like uh, milk and sugar and cereal. Listen, I, I get drunk like twice a year, so I'm not the guy to talk to about alcoholic beverages. I do not like to get drunk... Uh, ex except for, like, fucking twice a year on my fucking birthday and the, like, one time a year I go and travel and hang out with friends. And then when I do drink, you know what's awesome about not drinking? Uh, sorry, drunk heads in chat. Uh, you know what's awesome about not drinking? Is when you actually get drunk, it's like an enjoyable thing. And then you get drunk off, like, two White Claws and you're done. You have, like, two White Claws and you're done. It's like a little celebration every year. My liver is so fucking powerful. I have a huge liver. I have an incredibly refined palate and a huge liver. Massive, in fact.
See, I just don't like drinking because there's a 50% chance I'm a fun drunk and a 50% chance I'm a sad drunk. And if I lower the percentages of that happening once a year, uh, like once or twice a year, then it's way less likely that I'll be a sad drunk. Where am I, boy? Why is he named after a fish? He's not named after a fish. He's named after the South Dakota Sturgis Bike Rally. We call it the COVID capital of the world because fucking, Jesus fucking Christ, everybody got big sweaty beer, be beer bellies there. They got like a big beer belly competition in Sturgis. It's like the saddest place on earth. Everybody love they bed. Here are your barracks. Enjoy. One, two, three, four. And somebody gets this secret room all to themselves. Great job, everybody. Enjoy your fucking beds. Sturgis, I did it. I fucking did it. Bed real. I mean, I'm going to set up like sim settlement stuff here. I'm just not worried about it right now. I fucking love clean water. One of my all-time favorite fucking things. Mimi, I'm a big water guy. I'm always posting in hydro homies. All right, let's get the big water. You know, let's do the big water purifier. We got the fucking river here. This is our purified water base. Fallout 3 be like, ooh, no drinkable water, ooh. Too bad, dummy. I can make drinking water. Hot take, water is good. House of Lament, nice. What, am I going to have a weird cultist base here? Children of the Atom are going to fucking jump in and be like, hey, we love it here. Can we uh, put a big barrel full of green goo around here? That'd be so awesome. It'd be so cool if you let us have a big barrel of green goo right in the center of town. I'm just saying. Hot diggity dog. It's melon time. Do I got to run over and get more melons? I got to go to the gas station and get more melons. Don't mind me. Just going to go over to my better town. Enjoying the sights and delights. I'd rather drink piss than Dasani. I never will get like the full Dasani hate. Like, I, I, it's not that bad. It's, it's, it's not good, but it's not that, like, Dasani isn't that bad. It's like, eh, if I have to drink, if the only Dasani is available, I will drink it. I used to drink it at Best Buy all the time if the, uh, the, the water machine was broken. I don't think Dasani is that bad. I'll never get, I'll never understand it. I'll never fathom it. I just don't think it's that bad. Hi. I'm so fucking sorry. I drink tap water, but I drink like the, uh, we got a, we got one of those Brita filters, you know? I'm not gonna drink fucking Sioux City, Iowa tap water. Yeah, but you like cinnamon rolls and chili. What do you know? I'm fucking, I'm never gonna be able to live that down. I'm never gonna be able to move past it. We're never gonna be able to move past it, are we? Never gonna be able to move past, yes, cinnamon rolls and chili is good. Hey, Brendan, thank you for your advice about TVs the other day. I've already figured out what TV I'm gonna shoot for, like, a week after the Super Bowl. Super Bowl is, like, the best time to buy a TV. Like I said, people buy TVs for the Super Bowl and then return them to stores and then you end up with a bunch of open box TVs that were barely used. Motherfuckers be buying 75-inch flat screen TVs for one day for football and then return them the next day. Like, it's insane. Sioux City tap water will fucking kill you. Them bitches lie about their sanitation process. The water supervisors were criminally charged. Yeah, in my town, the water supervisors were criminally charged because they were lying about how safe the drinking water is. That's my fucking city. I love it, dude. The fucking shit town I live in. I, f I love it, dude. Yeah, the water's undrinkable, but like, at least the liberals didn't take our gas stoves. What's the whole thing about gas stoves? Um, some people were like, hey, gas stoves are kind of environmentally unfriendly. Uh, maybe we should think about like swapping away from gas stoves to electric stoves, maybe. And then like, old people got whipped up into a fucking psycho frenzy. I was reading stories about, uh, like on Facebook, uh, I was reading stories about people whose like parents were bitching about gas stoves and their parents have electric stoves. Like it's insane. The, 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 the big trade off for gas stoves is they're good if they're, it, gas stoves are really only good if they're in a place where you frequently lose power. If you're in a place that frequently loses power, like they're good because you don't need electricity to really run them. But if you have a steady source of electricity... And you don't really have to worry about power outages except for the really rare, uh, really rare and odd occasion that it happens. Then, like, fucking, you don't have to worry about them taking your gas stoves because chances are you already have an electric one. My life be like a movie. My life be like a soup. What was I doing? Fuck, I already forgot what Sturgis wanted me to Did he want me to build defenses? I forgore. There we go. Build defenses. I got it. I remember. I forgore. I remember. I recall. Give me cool turret. I don't think I know anybody with a gas stove. 
I think everybody gets electric. But without gas stoves, how will we have large red gas tanks we can shoot in the post-apocalyptic post -apocalyptic world? They're going to take our gas stoves. But, but what about 50 years in the future when I got to shoot that big red barrel? I've been reading Mistborn again, and I really think that if we had mists that mysteriously came out at night and, like, it had creatures in the mists that took people's dead carcasses and bones and made funny amalgamation monsters out of the funny bones and carcasses like in Mistborn, I think the world would be a better place. All I'm saying is I want to eat Monopoly pieces and then use the Monopoly metal inside my stomach to be strong, just like the people in Mistborn. I want to be an Allomancer. We should make that real. We should make that real. I thought you said mist porn, and I was so confused about the movie The Mist. Like, what if they took all the scary creatures from the movie The Mist and gave them all boob? I <laughs> hey, crazy idea, guys. Uh, we're gonna, we're gonna make, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna pornify this Stephen King book. It's gonna be hilarious. You guys ever see? You guys ever read The Langoliers? Well, here's what we gotta do. We're going to take the scary Langoliers and give them huge honking breasts. Massive boob. Huge tit. What if big spider but boob? Yes! What was that one fucking Reddit story I read the other day that had like a follow-up? Uh, that was like a good follow-up. There's a Reddit story I read the other day because I was bored. And it was this dude that was a really like sad post. And he's like, all I want to do is have sex with a clown lady. All I want to do, my entire life, all I want to do is have, like, righteous fucking crazy clown sex. I want to get seltzer watered in the face. I want to I want to fucking honk her nose. I, all I want to do is have, like, stanky, rotten clown sex. And then he found somebody who, like, offered him clown sex. And now they're in a relationship together, and they have clown sex every day. Like, it was such, like, a sad Reddit post, but it had, dog. But it had a follow-up where he found somebody who engaged in clown sex with him. And then they have like a wholesome relationship founded on clown sex. I still say Reddit has only one good subreddit and it's our Ambien. That's the only good subreddit. It's the only one. Am I fucking sick again? I'm full of parasites. Why? No, says the man in the men. Just another parasite. No, says Andrew Ryan. Just another parasite. They're living their best life. Honestly, whenever I see a story like that, I'm like pleasantly surprised. I'm always a little bit happy for them, you know? It's just got to be that way, for real, for real. On God, on God. With that mustard blood mod, it's done. I, <laughs> I don't know if I can handle turning every character, <laughs> turning the blood into mustard. Nexus mods, mustard blood. I'm bookmarking it for the next stream. <laughs> Where's my display capture at? Holy fuck. Should I just install it now? I... <laughs> <laughs> it just looks like piss. Ain't nobody having fun in my town. I gotta add more recreation. Cleanliness looks like it's good. Everybody's really bored though, so I gotta add another recreational plot. I gotta figure out how to make more ASAM sensors because I'm like running out of them now. At a whorehouse. <laughs> I'm not adding a brothel. Brendan, add brothel. Brendan, give add brothel. Brendan, add brothel. Brendan, brothel town. Town made entirely of brothel. Brendan, add brothel. Brendan boob, add give brothel, Brendan. Brendan, add boob, add give brothel. I'm not doing it, stop it. Stop yelling at me, add give brothel. Yeah, add boob, give boob, Brendan. Brendan, add boob, give boob. I'm not gonna add boob, give boob, stop it. Stop requesting add boob, give boob. It's never going to happen. This is as sexy as we get with the tubes on top. This man's is as sexy as we going. He got the tubes, that should be good enough for you. Somebody come over here, live in this fucking home. Somebody come here, move into this house, it'll be funny. Somebody's eventually gonna move in there. They're missing a bed, so they get fucked. Show me the they, them cock, Brendan. I know you keep it locked away. What? Nobody wants to move into my fucking apartment building. If you want to sleep, you gotta build. This is my settlement, you fucking freak. Big farm! Oh, I like that. Do you see how it's got like the ground instead of the cement? I like that, neat. Fuck up all the geometry. Oh fuck, somebody building a funny apartment building, finally. Finally, we're gonna have people living in the apartment. It's gonna be the big shoe house. What is that story from where the old lady lives in the big boot? I can never remember that. What's the story of the old lady who live in the big boot? You know, the, the lady who live in a boot. What's the story about the lady who live in a boot? Oh, it's just a nursery rhyme. There was an old lady who swallowed a boot. She ate the whole boot and it was kind of fucked up. What the hell happened here, guys? 
What are we building here, fellas? I everything was fine. There was a boot here and everything. What is happening? Why is there a pod? What have you done here? Who built this pod? Why there's just a pod in here? Damn, check it out. Brand new pod unlocked. It's got one bed in it. I literally gave them a large workspace and they said one bed, one pod. One pod, one life. Fuck it. Tonight, we are pod. Build the piss room now. I don't know what that means. I'm sorry. I have no knowledge of a, 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 like said piss room. Build the penis pod. What is the penis pod? Explain to me. Elaborate. All right, let's go adventuring. That's fun. I've been, I've been goofing off. I've been doing goofy shit. It's too long. Goofy settlement shit. I'll come back here when somebody gets a disease. Hey, everybody in sanctuary is dying of dysentery. Cool. Build boob pod. Stop it. I'm not building boob pod. You can't make me. The penis pod is a pod with which you penis in. Thanks. That's so cool. Ah, sweet. A pod with which you can consume penis. I mean, do penis. I mean, eat, eat, eat penis. I can't tell if Brendan is the AI or if Chad is. I, Yeah, I'm currently typing all of this into an, into an AI as I go. That way, you know, I always know. Uh, the, the AI is telling me what to say. Just don't worry about it. Just don't think too hard. The AI is telling me what to say, who, who, who... Who to, who to talk to, what to think. Artificially generated streamer, yeah. Roguelike streamer. I'm a <laughs> if I die in the real, I die in the stream. You feel well rested. Good. I heard a, I had the dream again last night. There was a porg from Star Wars, The Last Jedi, and he was big. And he looked at me, and we were in the middle of a cityscape. And he spoke words to me that I'll never be able to fully understand. The porg was talking to me, and I was trying to talk back, but my lips were sewn shut. The Porg was yelling at me, screaming at me in a language unspoken for decades, years and years and years and years, thousands of years unspoken, but I couldn't hear him. I was too busy owning him at Tekken. He was really upset. And the Porg says, add broth, build broth. <laughs> Have we gone to like brothel to broth? Brendan, soup store, add soup. Brendan, I want to be able, I want to be able to go to your gas station town and I want to buy Campbell's chunky chicken noodle soup. Campbell's chunky beef broth, Brendan. Brendan, I want chunky stew and I want it now, Brendan. Brendan, when are we getting the chunky stew stream? Brendan, I've been waiting for the chunky stew stream. You've been talking about it for years, Brendan. When are you finally making the chunky stew stream real? Reality real. Brendan, we all request the chunky stew stream, Brendan. I've talked about this before, but like soups on when somebody else soups on. It implies that there is soup, but it's also just a call to arms for feeding and food. So if you yell soups on and it's not soup, like it's disappointing. And you don't yell, you don't yell like brisket's on, beef is on, hamburgers are on. Like it's just you go outside, you yell in the field, you yell soups on and you ring the big dinner bell and your kids get to the table and it's McDonald's. Like it's disappointing. If you're going to yell soups on, at least be making soup. That's all I'm saying. If you're going to be shouting to the high heavens about soup being on, at least make sure you're offering soup. And like, what, what is even the soup on? Like, I know that soup is on, but what even is the soup on? If I ever have kids and I live on a compound or a farm, you bet your sweet bippy I'm going to have one of those big dinner triangles. Car. That was funny. I'm going to have one of those big dinner triangles, and every time it's dinner time, I'm going to call the kids to come home. It's going to be a smart triangle, though, so it'll be connected to their iPhone. That way, if they're not at home and at a friend's house, they'll get the dinner bell alarm real on their phone. See, I'm thinking real fucking smart today. The soup is on the gas stove, and I will not remove it. The fumes invigorate the soup. Campbell's chunky and fumy. The existence of liquid soup implies that there is gaseous soup. I swear if I ever traveled to like a big city, I really want to eat at one of those fucking like gastropub places where it's like, we've turned this burger into an orb so that you can consume it and enjoy the consumption. Not only do you get to eat this hamburger on round, but also it's a little bit of an experience. It's not just eating hamburger on. It's living hamburger. Oh, wait, that's Paladin Dance. You can fuck off. Bye now. Enjoy fighting ghouls forever, bitch. Not my fucking problem. Why do you hate Paladin Dance? Because he's part of the Brotherhood. I don't like the Brotherhood. Fucking baby. 
The only good thing about the Brotherhood is killing Elder Max and, and stealing his fucking coat. That's it. The only positives to the Brotherhood of Steel and Fallout 4 are you can kill Elder Maxon and get the funny coat. And that's it. And that's the only good part of him. But Dance is a himbo. Y yeah, but also, he's a synth. But also, I don't like the Brotherhood of Steel. He's always flaunting it in front of me. He's saying, I have power armor. Look how sexy I am in my power armor. And I'm sick of hearing about it, dude. I'm sick of hearing about it. Look how tight my body is in this armor. I'm sick of hearing about it, dude. Stop posting about it, dude. Please. I'm gonna fucking die. I'm gonna get busted back to level one. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. He can't hit me. Oh shit, he can. Oh god, he fucking- he tank- he eliminates my fucking health. Holy shit. Where's Jet at? Drugs. It was worth it. It was worth it. I think I have a dick doll back at the base. It was worth it. He had to die for the greater good. I don't have a dick doll on me, but I think I have it back at the gas station. If I go to Diamond City, I can buy treatment. I can have a- I can have a doctor purge all my humors. So, Doctor, how are you going to make me less addicted to funny drugs? Well, here's the thing. Here's what we're going to do. It's going to be real hilarious. It involves a lot of leeches. I don't know why, but the idea of, like, Doctor, please, I've smoked too much weed. I have fat bong rips every day, and I need to stop. How do I stop? Leeches. What? All over your body. Leeches. All over- Leeches all over your body. Leeches all over your body. Thirsty Thursday in Diamond City. Everybody bring your chips. It's Thirsty Thursday in Diamond City. Everybody drop on in with your chips. Listen, if you're not participating in Thirsty Thursday, it's fine. But it's Saturday. Yeah, but it's Thirsty Thursday on a Saturday. Why? We were closed on Thursday. Does this mean Belly Saturday is canceled? Yes. <laughs> Thank you.